This is Reviewer03, bringing you a review of Black Lagoon. Now, I haven't been reviewing for quite some time now, and I admit that I got a little rusty. So let's see what we got here. Hmm, cool action, explosions, gunfights, senseless destruction, and fucking crazy bitches. Oh my god, why does this sick shit? Seriously. I can work with that. Okay, so Black Lagoon is set in the mid-1990s in a fictional Southeast Asian city of Rohanapur, and the story revolves around a group of freelancers slash mercenaries and their daily struggle to survive in this hostile environment. I guess I should mention that Rohanapur is a mafia city, populated exclusively by the mafia, people working for the mafia, people related to the mafia, people wanting to become mafia, and of course the Catholic Church which is also part of the Mafia. The main characters include Rock, a Japanese salaryman who was abandoned by his company after being abducted by these guys, and who developed a severe case of Stockholm Syndrome. That's the syndrome where you can't stop eating Swedish meatballs. And so he decided to stay in the rotten city of Ranapur instead of going back to civilized Japan. Next we have Ravi, a crazy cold-hearted bitch who goes by the name of Two Hands because she uses two guns to kill her opponents. And then we have Dutch and Benny. No one cares about them. Other important characters are Mr. Chang, leader of the Hong Kong Mafia, Balalaika, leader of the Russian Mafia, a maid named Roberta, and several other crazy people. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. This series is one of the coolest openings I have seen. Both the opening song and the choreography are really good. What bothered me was the fact that 95% of the opening was centered around Ravi and only some 5% around the remaining three main characters. This is strange since Rock is supposed to be the main character of this series. I know I'm pointing out a technical detail, but a loose screw at your car is a technical detail as well. <coughs> So long, bitch! Okay, let's continue. The good thing about this anime was definitely its animation, which was pretty good for its time, and which diverted from the traditional animation you see nowadays. For some reason, the animation contributed tremendously to the seriousness of the series. Another plus is the soundtrack, the breathtaking action scenes, and the characters, which feel as real as fictional characters can get. The first bad thing is the fact that this anime is quite unbalanced. Benny and Dutch start as main characters, but by the second season they get much less screen time and are reduced to secondary characters. They are practically absent from the last six episodes of the second barrage. Another point is the fact that this series starts quite slow. It needs time to get better and to capture the audience. The first season is good, second barrage is better, and Roberta's blood trail is fantastic. Another thing is that this anime does use too much of the typical anime cliches. Like, infinite ammo, panty shot, this stormtrooper effect, superhuman feats, maid outfits, Nazis, empty streets at night, slicing through bullets with swords, women beating the crap out of each other, crazy psychopath killer children. The anime is quite episodic as well, but unlike a certain other series, it can actually pull it off since there are arcs which go over several episodes, flashbacks, reappearing characters, and constant references to events in the past episodes. And all of this gives you a feeling of continuity. As for the dub versus sub debate, the American voices sound cool and are actually quite good, but only when you don't know the Japanese dub. When you compare them to the Japanese dub, then it makes the characters and the entire series sound much more aggressive. The reason for this lies in the fact that the English voices are over the top. Balalaika, Revy and Dutch sound much more natural in a Japanese dub when compared to their English counterparts. And these twins are ten times creepier in a Japanese dub. The Japanese dub has a certain charm to it, which gets completely replaced by coolness in the English dub. To sum it up, the Japanese dub sounds much calmer and mature, while the English dub is more aggressive and perhaps cooler. Nevertheless, this is one of the animes I would definitely recommend to watch in the original Japanese dub with subs. And let's not talk about the awful experiment the Japanese dub tried in the last six episodes of Second Barrage. People who saw the Japanese dub will understand. For some reason Japanese voice actors can speak Spanish quite well, but fail utterly when they come to English. So, Black Lagoon gets a very good 4.5 out of 5 points. The second barrage and Roberta's blood trail are amazing, but they get pulled down by the first season, which needs some time to capture the audience. And since I'm reviewing the series as a whole, it's a 4.5 out of 5 points.